oxidative priority and explain to you how what you eat um, is processed by your body and why that is important in every day, the decisions you make, trying to reach your goals, losing fat, building muscle, and that kind of stuff, okay? Oxidative priority is the order in which your body processes nutrients based on um, the ease in which it can do it and basically the storage capacity your body has. So basically, the less storage capacity your body has for macronutrient, the faster and more quickly it's going to get rid of it so that it doesn't have to worry about what it's going to do with it, okay? So there are a number of things on this list, right? When we talk about foods or, or things that we can put into our mouths that our body does something with. With The first thing we have on the list is alcohol, okay? Whenever you consume alcohol, no matter what else you're eating, alcohol will automatically always go to the top of the list and your body will burn it first. So, right, it has limited storage. Limited, I should say none. There's no storage. Your body cannot store alcohol. It's not like fat where it can get added to your hips, right? There is no storage. Okay? The minute you drink alcohol, everything that you're drinking is immediately getting burned by your system for fuel. Your body is going to use it to create energy, okay? Keep in mind, when you're mixing alcohol with other stuff, and you're going to see how this plays in as we talk about other things on the list, okay? When you're mixing alcohol with other things, some if your alcohol is in there, no matter what else you're mixing it with, it's going to get shoved down to the bottom of the list, okay? And remember, as we get to more storage capacity, things are going to get added to fat stores as we go, all right? Now, alcohol is at the top of the list. Pretty simple. If you drink alcohol, um, it's going to get burned before anything else does. So if you're trying to lose body fat and you're eating, you're drinking, you're drinking a lot of alcohol, it's not the carbs, guys. It's not the carbs in alcohol. It's not the carbs in beer that's the problem. It's the fact that there's alcohol that's the problem. Because if you're trying to burn carbs, if you're trying to burn fat, when you drink alcohol, all that stops, okay? Alcohol stops burning everything else and must be burned first. Keep that in mind. Then we have exogenous I don't know how to spell. Exogenous fats. Okay? Anything that we eat. Any fats we eat. So if you're doing a lot of MCT oil, if you're adding butter to everything, if you're cooking things in coconut oil, okay? That is the next thing. There's pretty much little to no. There's limited. We'll say limited storage. I'm not going to get too much into all the details, guys, about all these things. I just want to give you an overview of how this works. Um, there is... Very limited amount of exogenous fats your body can store. Unless you're eating so much of them and your body just can't do anything with it, then it will go to fat. But for the most part, if you're eating fats, your body's gonna say, hey, I've got fresh fuel in my system, I need to burn it. It's going to burn that before it burns anything else, right? So we have some other things we're gonna to add to this list that you're gonna say, hmm, if I'm adding fat to what I'm eating, then the fat that's here, right, isn't gonna go anywhere because I'm putting fat in my system that the body has to burn first, right? If we look at this just from a fuel perspective, then you're adding fuel, you're adding fuel, okay? It's gonna burn that first before it burns whatever is already stored, okay? Next thing we have on the list, and this may, this may be a surprise to many people, okay? Protein, next on the list, right? We'll just say some storage. Okay, without getting too much into that. Because basically you can store as much as you need, but your body is going to use it. Now here's the difference. We talked before in other videos that I've done about the difference between calories, right, versus fuel calories. Okay, this is another example of why total calories and just doing calories in, calories out doesn't really work. Protein is not used for fuel. Okay, so when body, the body is oxidizing and using that protein, what it's doing is it's breaking it down into components that can be used by your body for muscle protein synthesis. It can be used for cellular repair. It's going to be used for recovery and helping your body build and repair itself, okay? 
So the priority here is it's going to say, yes, if I have protein and you eat protein, it's going to take that protein and it's going to shove it into other areas of your body so that you can recover and rebuild, not for fuel. So these calories, when you come, when you talk about burning calories for fuel, these don't count. Okay. You're kind of skipping a line to the next thing on the list. Okay. Because this is used for something different. Now, if you eat so much protein that your body says, I've got enough protein. I don't need any more to help rebuild and recover and, and do all the different things I need to do to make your body function. Okay. Then it will be burned as fuel. Okay. So in that case, all right, this then becomes a fuel source before you get to the next two things on the list. All right. Now, here's the cool part. It is almost impossible to eat so much protein that your body won't use fat and carbs for fuel. Okay. The amount of protein that you would need to eat. Yeah. I don't even know if there's a number right now, um, but just for basic function, you know, we're looking at one and a half to almost two grams of protein per pound of lean mass. All right, it just to maintain, and that's those are conservative numbers. It could be higher. There are studies that show people eating three times their body, three times their lean mass in protein per day, and still not having it turn into fuel. Okay, so I wouldn't worry about eating too much protein. You can pretty much eat as much as you want. Um, we, we've got other videos on that, but don't worry about that. Protein is not used for fuel. It's going to be used for rebuilding and repair. Okay, so. You can eat protein and it's not, unlike alcohol and exogenous fats, okay? When you eat these guys, it shuts off burning everything else, okay, for fuel. It doesn't shut off protein synthesis, doesn't shut off breaking down protein for everything. It does shut off fuel usage, okay? So that means the next thing on the list, okay, carbs, the next thing on the list stops burning. So if I'm eating margaritas, right? Or drink if I'm eating. If I'm drinking margaritas, the alcohol in the margarita, the tequila is getting burned, but all the simple syrup and all the sugars in there are not. So this is going to where? There's a good amount of storage. And then it all gets shuttled to the next thing, which is body fat, which we'll talk about. Okay. You'll see how this all works in a second. All right. So Alcohol, exogenous fats, skip over protein because it's not fuel, carbs, and then five, fat. Okay, fat, body, fat, right? It's like I say here. Okay, this is the, the dumpster for any excess, any excess, right? Excess carbs, excess fat is going to be put into body fat, all right? If you are doing all of this, this is not happening, okay? So when we talk about low carb, when we talk about a ketogenic diet, when we talk about a carnivore diet, what we're talking about is limiting fat if you want to lose fat. We're talking about limiting carbs if you want to lose fat, okay? Because this is the order your body processes things. It has nothing to do with the calories, okay? Your body is going to burn carbs before it burns fat. If you have a 30% body fat, on 30% of your body is fat, and you're trying to get down to 20%, you've got 10% to lose, stop eating carbs. Give your body a chance to burn the fat it has stored already, okay? Stop adding fat to all of the food that you eat. You don't need to add butter. You don't need to have bulletproof coffee. You don't need fat bombs, okay? Being in ketosis and burning body, burning fat the idea behind that is to burn body fat. It is not to eat fat and burn it because that does nothing for your body composition. It does nothing for your overall health, okay? So in summary, alcohol is going to stop everything. Next on the list is exogenous uh, fats. Protein is burned and is used. It's, I should say it's utilized, but it's not burned for fuel. Then comes carbs, then comes fats, okay? Oxidative priority is not something we can get around, guys. This is just how our bodies work. Right. If you have any questions about that, you know, you can Google it. You can look at it. I actually have an article on the, on my blog about protein and how that fits and a little bit more explanation into this piece of it. Um, but that's pretty much it. Remember, it's not calories in calories out. It's about the order and the priority of what you're eating and how much you're eating and what your body does with it. Thank you for watching this video. 
I really hope that it's giving you some information and tools that will help you live a better quality of life. For more videos and to get notified when new things come out, subscribe to this channel and you'll get all the information as soon as it hits. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you can find me at the Apex Training System. Or if you're interested in our programs and what we can do to help you, uh, with it, whether it's one-on-one -on -one coaching or whether it's in a group online program, go to theapextrainingsystem.com and get all the information about what we do. Look forward to talking to you. Have a great day.